In this video, we're gonna take you behind the scenes into our Get Social Smart Mastermind. Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and author of the book, Get Social Smart. It's episode 297, and this month we are celebrating our 10th year in business, our 10th anniversary. And this whole month we are taking you behind the scenes, sharing you kind of the backstory behind different parts of our business. So if you missed any of the videos, we will drop those in the links below. I did a whole video about how we started from 2012 till now. I did a whole video about our academy and the backstory for that. I just did a whole video all about public speaking and building a speaking career. So check those out if you haven't had a chance to check those out. Today's video, I wanna share with you some behind the scenes into our Get Social Smart Mastermind. So you might be wondering, Mastermind? I didn't know you had an event, what's that all about? So this started a few years ago, back in probably 2017, I just started having a vision, I guess, <laughs> for an event. Now, if you are in the world of real estate, and I would imagine a lot of you are, you probably know there's no shortage of real estate events. I mean, seriously, I could probably go to a real estate event every day out of the year. There are no shortage of real estate events from franchises, brokerages, associations, NAR, Inman, like a million different events. So the world does not need a whole nother event. So why did I think about having an event? Well, here's the thing. What I have found, because I speak at a lot of events, as I mentioned in my last video, is that a lot of folks go to events and they get really fired up and they take notes and notes and tons of notes, they meet lots of people and then they go home and what do we do? <laughs> right? We like life, we get back to life, right? And like the notes go out the window and we have the best of intentions, but oftentimes, you know, we get motivated and, and sometimes not a, a whole lot happens after events. Also, sometimes have you ever gone to an event and you sit down and you're excited for the speaker only to realize every session is like some sort of sponsored ses session. Like everything is like pitching, like you're getting pitched everywhere, right? It drives me bananas. Also, have you ever gone to an event where there's so many people that you just feel like a little overwhelmed? I mean, I've gone to events where you walk in and there's thousands of people and you're just like, whoa, there's a lot of people. So again, nothing wrong with a lot of the, I've been just, I've spoken at so many great events, but I thought, I think there's an opportunity to do something a little bit different. And our dream was to create a small group mastermind. I had seen other folks do events where they rented out a big suite or like, you know, an Airbnb or something. And I'm like, oh, that looks awesome. Like a small group mastermind mastermind where you can't hide, right? It's like the best accountability. And so we, we launched our first mastermind back in 2018. And we actually ran two masterminds, both in beautiful Napa. I love Napa. Napa is pretty close to where we live. If you follow me for any period of time, you know, I love a great glass of wine and it was awesome. We had about 10 or 15 folks at each of those masterminds. And it's been so cool to see that group evolve and grow and change over the years. Now, the positive Positive news is our mastermind continued to grow and so in 2019 we made the, the decision to switch our mastermind and take it from Napa to Las Vegas now some people love Las Vegas some people don't love Las Vegas <laughs> but Las Vegas was great for us for so many reasons as much as I absolutely love Napa what we realized was that people were flying into our mastermind from all over the world we have people flying in from Hawaii from Canada East Coast West Coast everywhere right and so as, as, as awesome as snap is sometimes it's a little tricky right flying in driving and everything involved with Vegas Vegas has world-class restaurants dining accommodations there's a reason why so many events are held in Vegas Vegas just knows how to do events whether it's you know 10,000 people 100,000 people or 10 people so in 2019 we reached out to the Bellagio we went to a beautiful suite at the Bellagio and had our biggest mastermind ever I think we had about 16 17 18 people in our mastermind still keeping it small but really it was a fantastic opportunity to really dig deep with folks so fast forward to where we are now you know 2019 we were like awesome we're gonna do it again in 2020 well then March 2020 happened right <laughs> and we thought oh, okay we'll just be a few weeks we didn't host it again in 2020 21. So now that we are in 2022, we are so excited. Now, by the time this video comes out, it will probably have already been our Get Social Smart Mastermind. And I'm so excited for it. We are hosting it at the beautiful Encore, which is owned by The Win. We have 17 amazing agents and brokers who are coming. We are bringing our team out. And the beauty of our mastermind is this. As I said earlier, a lot of times you go to these big events, you get fired up, you come home and you think, okay, now what? 
And a big part of our mastermind isn't just learning from me, but it's from doing the work. So in our mastermind, I'm able to peel back the curtain and I show you exactly uh, some of the things that we've done, how we've grown our business, how we've hired, what our team looks like. And more importantly than any of that is content. If you follow me for any period of time, you know I'm a big believer in putting together content strategies and plans. It's the only way to be sustainable. You know, how have I been able to publish nearly 300 episodes of this show? It's from having a plan and being uh, and, and having a system, right? Same thing with our academy, same thing with our, our so the speaking part of our business. You have to systemize it, right? And so I realized that the conversations around systemizing and putting together a 12 month content plan, putting together a plan as if you are uh, you know, a media company, that conversation can be overwhelming for a lot of people. So it's meant for that smaller group audience. So in our mastermind, I'm able to stand up and walk you through exactly how we map out our 12 month plan. We've been doing this for years, every October, November, I sit down with our team and we map out the next 12 months, uh, which is you know a little daunting. And things change, of course. You know, during COVID, we obviously made changes. Things change from time to time. But during our mastermind, we map out exactly how we do it. And then here's the beautiful part: we help our masterminders do it. So I always tell our masterminders, look, part of this event is me teaching you how to map out your plan. But the other half of it is you doing the work. And it is a beautiful thing that happens. You know, I love during our mastermind seeing our masterminders, you know, open in their laptop and they're working on their plans. And it gives me an opportunity to walk around, sit down and say, well, how's this working out for you? Let's look at this. Let's pull up your spreadsheet. Tell me about your business. Tell me about your market area. Um, before this mastermind, I, was, I have been able to do Zoom calls with each and every one of our masterminders to hear about their market area and their specific goals for the mastermind. So by the end of the mastermind, they're able to walk away with their 12 month content plan locked and loaded. And I am proud to say that 95% of everyone who's ever attended our mastermind has done this. It is awesome, <laughs> so awesome to see. And so awesome that it is. It, it feels so great when you can be done you know, in October for your plan that's, that's coming up for the following year. Now, not only do we teach our masterminders how to map out their 12 month plan, but we also teach them a distribution strategy because this is the key, you guys. You know, you could create a bunch of video like this, you could create a bunch of content, but if you don't have a plan for where that content's gonna go, it's gonna fall flat, right? I think there's this myth of like, oh, I'll just create a lot of video and then like all these people will flock to me. No, you have to be your own best promoter. Doesn't mean you have to be super salesy or be annoying or be spammy, but you have to be strategic, right? So where are those videos gonna go? Who's gonna publish them? Who's gonna edit them? Where are they, you know, what's the, the strategy for what that distribution plan looks like? How are you going to repurpose that content? We cover that inside the mastermind. The other thing we do is we help our masterminders do some batch creating of content. Content. We push them outside of their comfort zone. We get them on video. We get them creating some Canva content, uh, and we, you know, so they can walk away and have some content locked and loaded. Secretly, the best part of our mastermind are the conversations that aren't planned. You know, we have some amazing catered breakfasts and lunch that we have each and every day in our mastermind. We have an awesome welcome reception. We have some incredible dinners that happen each night. I'm always amazed at the conversations that happen across the table from someone. You know, as you're drinking. Your a great glass of wine or having a meal because we attract people from all different parts of the country you know we have folks coming to our mastermind from from Kauai, from toronto from you know washington state from the midwest from, from everywhere it's awesome to be able to say hey i'm trying this have you ever tried this and that collaboration that happens is incredible it's also incredible for referrals you know we know when it comes to real estate like referrals are everything and what a great opportunity to make those awesome referral connections from folks literally all over the world. So we're so excited about it. As of the recording of this, we're recording it right now and we're in the midst of getting everything ready. We cannot wait to see our masterminders. But if you're listening to this thinking, that sounds really great. I would love to find out more information about it. I would love if you would like and comment below. We're gonna start a wait list for 2023. We only do our mastermind once a year because it's a huge endeavor. You know, we bring our team out, tons of planning uh, that goes into it. And it's not for everybody. It's a high-end mastermind. We usually limit it to 15, 20 people.
Google Max. So if you're listening going, that sounds awesome. I missed out this year. I wanna be you know, notified for next year. Just like and comment below. Um, you can also email me directly, katie at katielance.com and say, hey, can I get on that wait list? And we'll put you on that for next year. Okay, before I wrap up, I wanna share five quick lessons for creating a memorable event. So you might be listening to this thinking, well, I wanna create some sort of event. Maybe it's not necessarily a high-end mastermind, but you wanna think about what those lessons might be. Number one, under promise and over deliver, right? I mentioned this earlier when I talked about other parts of our business, but under promise, over deliver, this is a huge thing, small thing that makes a huge difference. Number two, clear communication. If you're going to have an event, have clear communication through email, through social media, however you're communicating with people. Don't make people guessing on where to show up or where to go. Be very clear in your communication, super important. Number three, surprise and delight people. You know, we do all kinds of fun stuff at our mastermind, you know, from the workbooks that they receive to a couple, you know, fun things that we surprise them with. This kind of goes to under promise and over deliver, but surprise and delight people, uh, you know, you will make champions of the people who come to your event. Number four is the magic is in the prep beforehand and the prep after. So an event, of course, is like one day or one hour or a few days, but the more work you can do ahead of time to set yourself up up for success, the better. But don't forget about the after. You know, after you do an event, people are excited. If you've done it right, they're excited. So make sure you're following up. Make sure you have a plan for folks for what's next after your event. I know for us, we have a private Facebook group just for our masterminders. So it's so great to see them continue on and see that accountability after they've been at our event. And number five for putting on a great event, be a great listener, be a really good listener. Listen to your audience, listen to your potential uh, people who might show up to your event and really provide the best content you can. Like I said, be a great listener, listen during the event, hear for things that people are saying and take those in, it is so important. All right, again, would absolutely love to hear from you. If you're curious about our mastermind and our, uh, would like to check it out for next year, would like to be on that waiting list, like and comment below. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, we would absolutely love if you hit that subscribe button and the bell button. Uh, we have videos that come out each and every week. As I said, we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary this month. So thank you so much to everyone and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.